and we are back to working on the yeet again. So I've got an enemies, enemies everywhere anti roll bar. This is what I'm currently installing at the moment. It is a very nice kit. Um, currently got to grind away and grind off these brackets on both sides, which is not a very pleasant job. And yeah, I'm going to try and mount it. Uh, where's the pack? Right here. This is going to go somewhere around this sort of area. Just got to make sure it misses that arm. and the arms that go on the top of the diff here. There's not much room between the tray. So I'm gonna have to have them pretty short. I'm thinking actually around that length to get it to work under the tray. Excellent. Check out this bit of porn under here. Woo! Plumbed all this up the other day. Looking good under there. And after I get the any roll bar installed, um, I've just got a, I've marked the diff where I'm going to cut it around here and I've got a machine about one mil off here so that slides into the housing nice and tight and then there'll just be a weld pretty much around here to hold it on. That's the next step after the anti-roll bar. Excellent. Alright, so a bit of an update is I've got the any roll bar installed. Um, in the best spot that I could make it fit. It's all very tight under here, but I'm trying to keep everything under the tray. I don't really want anything sticking up through the tray. But one of the problems I have is these arms. I might have to make them, well, I'm not going to make them shorter, but I might have to trim these down. Yeah, I'm not too sure. But I might have to do something with those. Otherwise, it's going to end up hitting the floor. That's probably. Uh, roughly ride height and there's that much sticking up but once the um I've got you know the chassis on and everything I'll see how much room I got and hopefully I can just make it work like that without having to cut into things more that's the next thing I've got to do but it's taken me hours and hours just to get this anti-roll bar mounted and in the right spot, so. It's a very cool unit, this one. I like it. It's the seven and a half inch, like the long arm version they sell. Um, should I lower it down? Probably the maximum travel this the suspension is going to have. And they sit nice. And as it goes up, if I go right up to where it's going to hit the bump stocks, that's there. The pumpkin misses the floor, but the anti-roll bar is going to hit. I suppose worst case, I could 
maybe cutting the floor for it, but I'll just cross that bridge when it comes to it. Alrighty, that's a wrap up for today. We've just spent all day on this, so yeah, tomorrow I'll come out and try and get the dish shortening side of things done. Cool. Well, I've been a busy man today. The wheels showed up. The 15 by 14 Alpha Series double bead lock. And ET Street are uh, Mickey Thompson tyres. They're the biggest ones they sell in the Street R series of tyres. And I've just welded. I've got to do a little bit of patch welding just to fill in the little low spots. I had a big, um, what's it called, V right around this and pretty much filled it all in with weld, but there's a couple of spots that I just got to put a bit more weld in. They fit onto the ute really good too. awesome nice solid progress next step will be um, pulling the housing out all the falling calms and I'll be getting them all powder coated and over here I've got another present here from United Speed Shop which I haven't opened up yet and I have a beer the gearbox is hidden away in that box and there's the other wheel so I've got to fit that to the other tyre in the rack over there and yeah cool stuff opening up my United Speed Shop box of goodies I've got satin black powder coated control arms double adjustable QA1 shocks, mounting kits, just the spinners, wheel alignment shims, box of goodies. Here's all the stuff you get in the box. You even get instructions. What well, looks like to be instructions. Look at that. Very nice. They um, offset the arms a little bit so that when you put them on HQs, uh, the upper arms um, puts a bit of caster in the arm so that they work more like radial tune suspension. Since I've already got a HZ chassis, I'm still going to install them to put more caster in again just because I've found it helps for. Tokyo drifting. So, excellent. I'll go through the springs, I think. Spring, yep. I'm not really going to go through all this now, but I just thought I'd have a little quick look. And I just brought all the stuff over to um, Rodney at Protective Coatings to powder coat the diff and all the arms and stuff. I'll probably head over there and do a video of him um, powder coating on sandblasting all the stuff. Bit of a mess in here. I'll probably do a bit of a clean up now. And we'll be back soon. Here we are, protective coatings. Uh, Cameron Park. Rodney's going to blast all this very shortly. blasting cabinet and then start the powder coating process.
and you'll often notice it costs a whole lot. That doesn't cost under there too. Very neat how it like prepares the metal. It's like metal prep. So there's the diff after the sandblast. As you can see, like every little grinder mark, that sort of thing. Got to be kind of careful on the grinding. If you don't want that sort of stuff to show through, but I'm not too worried. There's the colour. No, <laughs> it's not the colour. <laughs> Satin black. Precision wrapped. Ready for powder. So this is the epoxy primer going on. It's going to do the arms, um, wishbone, hang them out of the way. Touches. Black diff. Finished product. Really good. Just got all the tape off the diff. Been very busy today. That's the diff housing all assembled. Just waiting on axles, which are coming next week, so I can fully seal that up. All this mess you see here, you know, it's from grinding. Ended up welding a bar in across here as well, just because I had it sitting there, just for a bit extra support. I've just been getting the chassis ready. Um, it's gonna get sent off and get uh, sandblasted and epoxied, just to make it a little bit easier. To work with. I've also welded uh, washers here to solid mount the body. Eight mil of washers. I'm just going to weld them. I've got them back there. I've got some welded up in there. Let me turn the light on. Up in there. I had to cut this section out here in the floor. Which I've got sitting over here. Because the uh, roll bar is going to be really close to the floor. And I'm going to mount like a little um, bracket up here on top of the chassis 
and when the roll cage is done, I'm going to have the bar come through the back window. And I want it to come to around here. Because that's probably going to be a little bit of a weak spot. So if I can kind of get the bar coming around here, I'll weld some stuff on the top to make that work. And also want to bolt the tray down here. And the factory mounting points here. I need to get something across to use them as well. Not too sure what I'm going to use back here for that, but um, maybe even a bit of tube. It's not going to be very strong unless you use some box section, but I'll figure that out. Oh, there's a little bit of an update. So. A lot of work, I had a lot of cleaning to do. Spent all morning on this, probably about six hours non-stop. I haven't had lunch and I'm starving so I'm stopping now.